it's y to the a to the n to the a and if you're watching this comment down say hey you ever had a dream that 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 you you what you can do you can do do anyways what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be doing tips for new parents soon to be parents or anyone who's thinking about becoming a parent just to let y'all know parenthood motherhood fatherhood ain't easy so think long and hard before you stick it okay before we get into this video make sure you like comment subscribe and share and don't forget to hit that notification bell let's get a man let's go okay so here's tip one so the first tip i'm gonna give you moms you dads is if the baby is asleep Take them three hours and take a little nap. I don't know. Go take a shower. Do Use that time wisely. It goes by so fast. Super duper fast. That is the most important thing to do. Is when the baby is sleeping, y'all get your Z's. Because I'm telling y'all, them every three hours, they're like clockwork. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, now, it don't sound as bad, but it really is bad when somebody's waking you up every three hours because they want to eat. Just keep in mind, when they are older, we gonna wake them up every three hours, see how they like it. Tip two, I say do not go crazy buying newborn clothes. I think it's a waste of money. I think y'all should go and buy zero to three months. Do not buy a whole bunch of newborn clothes because I'm telling y'all, after the after a week, that's it. They done. They can't fit no more. They're going to be tight. The arm going to be like this. The leg going to be up. Just just, just stick to zero to three months. I'm telling y'all, it will save y'all money and y'all have clothes to the baby's three months. Tip number three. To me, they say walking helps like induce your labor or help your labor. Honestly, the baby going to come when the baby going to come. So y'all can walk to them probably stay building all y'all want, but that baby is not coming until the baby wanna come. So, though walking is still good, but I don't feel like it helps. Do your walking because no. Cause I'm telling you, your body for a first time mom is not ready, it has never carried a baby before. So your body has to adjust to that. For a second time mom, Second time moms is way easier to give birth, but from first time moms, it takes mostly a long time. I I don't I don't know anybody who had a fast labor. Hakazulu to you, cause I was in labor for forty eight hours and plus. Like that is no joke. Tip number four: drink a lot of water. It helps in the sonograms and it's very good for your baby and. Also, every time you go to the um, your GYN appointment, um, they're gonna test your pee and they're gonna say it's negative for something if you don't have enough, if you don't drink enough water or whatever. I only know that because I always was told I never drink enough water, but I totally drank enough water. They they just didn't like me. Tip number five: Do not compare your babies to anybody else's baby. Don't think just because your nephew at eight months started crawling that your child at eight months gonna start crawling every baby learns differently every baby has a different pace every baby is not going to do the same thing some are more advanced than others okay that's cool don't rush your baby let your baby take his or her time all right okay tip number six i say rack up on a whole bunch of wipes because if you have like eight boxes of wipes wipes are very cheap i've never seen a box over 15 dollars there's like a whole bunch or whatever in like 508 wipes, 1,024 wipes. It's just like a whole bunch of wipes. And it will last you literally a couple months. My stepmom bought me some um, wipes and they literally in December and they literally like did not run out and it's now May. So like wipes is, uh -huh. wipes is like the easiest thing to rack up on. So I just suggest keep racking on them wipes because you're always gonna need them not until they want to you're gonna need them regardless even if they are potty trained to wipe their mouths wipe their hands they always come in here especially if you want to wipe a little chocha if you take a doodle 
you know, do what y'all gotta do, all right? Tip number seven. I don't think buying an expensive swing or chair is worth it because I have a for mom's chair and my baby didn't even like it. Like I'm telling y'all, I put him in there and he goes, wah, wah, wah. Like, he didn't even like it. He didn't even use it. And when he did use it, he was too big for it. So not every baby is the same, but I'm just saying that I don't think it's worth that. I feel like a swing that's a hundred dollars or less will do way better than a swing that's $271. Just saying. Tip number eight. So this is very important. I feel like do not rack up on newborn diapers. Stupidest mistake ever. Everybody will always have leftover because the babies grow out of it fast. When the babies are born in the hospital, the hospital gives the baby size one diaper. That's what I suggest you rack up on. If you wanna buy a newborn, that's okay. Um, you can buy like a box, but don't sit here and buy three, six boxes of newborn because your child will most likely never wear them and then you wasted your money. Yes, you give it to somebody else, but you still wasted your money. Just saying. Tip number nine. Okay, when you bring your hospital bag to the hospital, don't overpack it because you're gonna need, you're gonna take stuff from the hospital home. I'm telling y'all, it helps y'all. Take the diapers, take the, the, um, some hospitals give you wipes, um, the bottles, take everything they give you and just ask for more the pads everything because if they giving it to you you need to take it all right that's that's the quote of the year if they're giving it to you you need to take it say it with me if they're giving it to you you need to take it which goes into tip number 10 get on wick don't feel like I broke B. Get on wig. I'm telling y'all, it is um, it is a money saver. I'm saying right now, formula for the baby is expensive. For women who do not breastfeed, aka me, that formula is so damn expensive. It's like, do I even want to feed this baby? Nah. Oh, just besides that, that formula is like very ridiculous. If they giving it to you, you better take it. Like I said, that um wig. As soon as they ask for, as soon as they ask you, like, do you want to be on wig? Get the referral from your GYN or your, I forgot what they call the doctor for um, your prenatal appointment. Get the referral, then go to your nearest wig office. You literally get approved the same day, and you're gonna get wig for you. You know, it's on. It's milk and cheese and yogurt. But it's free milk, cheese, and yogurt and all that stuff. And then on top of that, when you when the baby's born, you get nine to ten cans of powder, or you get the infamil in the the liquid, whatever one you choose. I have the powder for Junior. He doesn't. He actually doesn't like the liquid. I don't know why. He's weird. To me, the liquid one is way better. But that's none of my business. Tip number twelve. This is um something that um this is something that I wish I would have got. Get a garbage pail for just for the diapers because I'm telling you them things stink. Like it smells like another universe. I don't know. It smells like a bunch of breath. I don't know. I can't really describe the stinkness of the diaper. But at middle of the night, we don't feel like getting up. You just toss it to the side. Get a garbage pail, I'm telling you. Yeah, we'll not regret it because that smell, it reeks up your room. Tip number 12, do not buy a bassinet. It is a waste, waste of money. I don't care what anybody says. This is a, not an opinion, this is a fact. Most bassinets last up to six months. Your child lifespan is not six months. So why are you getting a bed that's only six months? It's not worth it. Oh, it's smaller, so it takes more space. No. You're going to end up having to buy a new bed anyways. You get a play yard or get a crib. Especially with a crib, it could turn into a toddler bed. You're going to get a bassinet for what? Because it's cute? For six months? Listen. Cost efficiently. <laughs> what? Cost effective. Y'all need to think about some of the things that's not worth it. A bassinet is definitely not worth it. Get a payout or a crib. If you're going to buy something expensive, make it worth it. Just saying. Another quote. If you're going to buy something expensive, 
make it work it. Tip number 13, I think. I don't know. This is just to me. But Walmart is the best place for baby essentials, especially diapers. I feel like Walmart is better than, better than Target because it gives you a better quantity for the same price. So, like, Target will give you 80 diapers for $40. And then Walmart will give you 100 diapers for $40. So, you see, it's the same price but same quantity. So, what you gonna do? I'm telling you, Walmart is where it's at. Next tip. And this is more like advice to you moms. You had you went through pregnancy, labor, and delivery. You deserve some time for yourself. Because at, at, at the, the end of the day, day yes, yes, you're, you're a, a mom, mom, but you're a woman, woman at that. that, that. Say it with Say me again. again. I'm, I'm a mom, a mom but, but I'm a woman, a woman too. too. Okay. I'm a mom, but I'm a woman too. Don't listen to other people when it comes to your child. If they like, oh, you shouldn't give your child that because eh, eh, eh. nobody asked you, man. My child, if I want to give him crackers, I'm going to give him cheese and crackers. Don't worry about it. Disclaimer, nobody tells you that the doctor sticks their hoo, their hoof in your hoo-ha. They just hoo, hoo, stick they like, I'm just telling y'all, like, they, they put this thing in it and then you just go to check if you're dilating. This is very important from personal experience. If you get on that epidural, do not press the button where it says more epidural. You will regret it. And maybe because I had a different take on it or maybe I had a different reaction to it. But when I tell you I pressed that button two, three times, I don't know what's wrong crazy. I felt numb in a bad way. You know how your foot fell asleep, your leg fell asleep? My whole body fell asleep and it was just horrible. Oh my God. It was so horrible to the point when I had to push, I couldn't even feel anything. So I was pushing wrong. I was pushing for like an hour. That's a whole nother story. If y'all want that story, comment down below. And I'll check out y'all gotcha here. Make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't just sit here and watch the whole video and don't subscribe. Come on, you gotta hear more. To me, I think y'all should try to get your baby on a schedule when you have to go back to work, like near. Because if you sit there and you let your baby do what they wanna do, then you just gonna be up in the mood of the night, have to wake up at six in the morning, you just went to sleep at five. So get that baby on the schedule. Don't have the baby have you on the schedule. Don't let that baby run you. Don't be stressed that the baby's not latching. They they have to learn. Remember, they've been in your womb for like 800 years. So they're not going to get everything like that. They have to learn. They have to teach. It don't really take that long, but I know that as soon as the baby came out, he was latching. I had like a heart attack. Oh my God, he's like, he's going to start. Yeah, I've over-exaggerated over everything. Like I'm, like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I know everybody hated being around me during my pregnancy. And when I was giving birth and after, because I was so dramatic, I cried like every five minutes because I was so scared because I was so normal. I was like, no. I was like, no, my little babe. Nah, but if y'all really want my pregnancy experience, comment down below, like this video, and stay tuned for that video. Because that is crazy. Next tip is, I recommend baby sleeping on the back. Now, I know that a lot of parents have their baby sleeping on their stomach, which is perfectly fine, but I recommend the back only because with babies, some babies, they throw up a lot. So if you have them on their stomach, they might choke on it. Like my baby, he throws up a lot. And if he's on his stomach, he'll choke on it. But if he's on his back, it just spits right out. I don't really don't get the logic in there, but that happens. Like right now, he's six months. And, um... He, he sleeps on his stomach now, but that's because he knows how to move. He can stand up on his own, so that's different. But I think for a newborn baby, they should be on their back. And I, um, doctors recommend swaddled, but my baby don't like that. So if y'all want to swaddle your baby, I can do that, but my baby don't like that. But that's a little tip that I learned from the doctor. But y'all probably would hear it too, but I say it better. Learn how to swaddle or wrap. Because that's one of a way, that's like a mom hack. Like if your baby keeps crying, I think the best way to do to do it is to um, spottle him or her. So maybe I could try that. 
and also um swiping your finger across their forehead it makes them smile um that's it i don't say all this is based on my baby everybody may be different but this is how i i let him recognize me because i did it ever since he was born so you could do something and your baby would definitely recognize that it's you <laughs> he do not like him touching his face to go clip <laughs> all right this is my camera time bye anyways guys that's all i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed these tips if you want more tips make sure you like comment subscribe and share Tell me what was your favorite part in this video. I mean, just comment down below. I have many, 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 many more, more tips. If you guys want it, just keep liking this video. And I will post a part two to this video. But for now, be gone. Thank you. Bye.